It's the Space Year 2012! That means it's the Queen's Diamond Jubilee, so it's 60 years since she pulled the magic sword from the Lady of the Lake and held it aloft and said, I have the power! Or however it works, I don't care in the slightest. Anyway, also this year, London are holding the Olympics for some reason, so there's a lot of sort of generic British tat doing the rounds in Poundland and similar shops at the moment. Some of it is specifically Queen's Jubilee, some of it is just crap they've stuck Union Jacks on. Let's take a look, shall we? And start with the most popular item. And I can say it's the most popular item purely for my viewers, because I've been sent about three of these, and unfortunately I'd already bought one myself. Can you guess how much it cost? Hint, it was 99 pence. What you may not be able to tell is that underneath it is a sticker for £1.49, where they apparently couldn't sell it for that. So yes, uh, one person who sent it to me claimed they spent about £4 on it in Argos, so uh, Yabu sucks to be them. Oh look, you can see an upside down distorted image of me. I haunt your dreams. Also, you can see a very, very... <laughs> So I hadn't realised just how bad this was till I got it close. Um, a very faded and completely useless picture of the Queen in there somewhere, in this decorative plastic crap. Let's just get rid of it and get the spoon out, shall we? Well, it's chrome-plated and chipped and horrible, and basically if you put it through a dishwasher once it would probably turn into a pile of dust. But, um, yeah, can you make out Queenie in there somewhere? There's sort of a vague jokerish hint, isn't there? Why is one so serious? That's just not working at all, is it? It's just such bad reproduction, it's unbelievable. Sort of thing you can give your grandmother if you hate her fucking guts. So yeah, stir your tea with that and you'll probably get poisoned from whatever heavy metal is residual on it. Marvellous, but don't worry, because there's even more pointless and mundane items to pretend are patriotic. Like this Union Jack oven glove. I like the way it's marketed in Poundland as essentials. Yeah, because it's really essential that you have an oven glove with a flag on it. Well, I can't really say much more about that. You can pull your patriotic cakes out of your patriotic oven on the day of the Queen's Jubilee or the Olympics or the date of your own death. It really doesn't matter. I'll just put that over there next to my Joy Division pair. Ah, now this is more like it. Back to specific tat. Look, it's that picture of the Queen again. I can't help thinking we're going to be seeing a lot of that, because it's the only one anyone seems to be using. The Queen's Diamond Jubilee Commemorative Porcelain Thimbles. <laughs> Ooh, look at the thimbleism. Um, yes, well, these are used by people who sew, apparently. Except not things like this, because they're just a crappy lump of porcelain with some badly printed tat on them. Who is making all this stuff? PMS Limited. Always nice to see a company named after premenstrual syndrome. Keep out of reach of young children. Possible choking hazard. Oh, there's some excitement you can get from it. There's a barcode. Oh, hang on. And a disclaimer. I like disclaimers. The design, illustrations and photographs used in this artwork are the exclusive property of the PMS International Group. Really? You own an image of the Queen's face? Pretty sure legislation doesn't work like that. Any attempts to copy this artwork in whole or in part will be prosecuted vigorously. Ooh. And damages will be sought and legal action taken where appropriate. Your home is at risk if you do not keep up your payments on a mortgage or other loan security. The value of investments can go down as well as up. Hmm. That's vaguely threatening, isn't it? Well, let's see what these thimbles are like then. If I can actually work out how to open the box, this may take some weeks. Here we go. Yep, it's all just cardboard and crap. I don't feel very porcelain. Mm, I suppose technically it's porcelain, very low quality. Right, what have we got then? Here's Queenie, bless her heart. 1952 to 2012, with a picture of her when she was young. Although, to be fair, that could be a picture of anybody in a blue hat, due to the incredibly low transfer quality. Also, look at the way the gold piping in the bottom doesn't match up with itself. Mm-mm. Better get me sewing. That'll protect my finger, because it certainly isn't pleasing me in any other manner. 1952 to 2012. It's a crown. Well, that was exciting. And the last one, 1952 to 2012, it's that picture of the Queen again. We're sick of it already, when she's wearing a lemon-flavoured suit. Absolutely marvellous. I tell you what, I reckon these would smash nicely. Hmm. Tempted. Tempted. I have got my hammer handy. All right, then. Let's do the one without a face on. It seems a bit mean to smash one of the others. Are you ready? OK, I've got my safety goggles on. Remember, safety first when smashing tat. And I've blue tacked it down a bit to stop wobble. Oh yeah. Ready? Steady? Happy 
and now I get to spend the rest of my life picking up small pieces of porcelain from around the room and probably getting them embedded in my foot. Right, what's next then? Answer, something weird. Well, that's a bit unfair to the man involved, but, uh, well, you'll see. Basically, in Poundland they have a selection of various Jubilee and United Kingdom flag-related guff. And as part of this, they have, actually, masks of the royal family. I don't know if you know what the royal family looks like here in Britain. Um, just in case you don't, because you are a devious foreign, here they are. Now, you see, you can get masks of, like, the Queen and Prince Philip and that, but for some reason, my pound, and they didn't have those, they only had one mask, which I can't help feeling was meant for another area, because amongst the Jubilee tat was this mask of comedian Alan Carr. No, not the American who helps you stop smoking. This guy's a stand-up comedian who presents television programmes and that. So, yeah, um, apparently the best way now to uh, show your patriotic fervour in this, the Queen's greatest year is to look like Alan Carr. Bless him, he's a nice man, but even Alan Carr doesn't want to look like Alan Carr. Anyway, let's get that out of the way and pull this head and stick it here. Yes, there is a reason for this. I'll demonstrate in a moment. Oh dear, it's wobbly. There we go. Because it's time to look at some glasses! Patriotic sunglasses, look! They've got Union Jacks on them, and they're made by Essentials again. They have a very loose grasp of the word essential, these people, don't they? And I don't know what they're like if you actually wear them. Hang on. Oh, you can sort of see through them. It's kind of a weird mesh of Union Jack in front of your eyes, so you can't quite see what's actually happening in front of you because you've got a flag sort of burnt into your brain. That must be what it's like to be a racist, actually. Let's see if you can get the uh, hint there. There, you see that? That's quite good. Hmm. It's amazing, this new camcorder focuses. I haven't got used to it yet. Right, what do they look like on? You'd probably take the um, tag off if you were wearing them in real life, I imagine. But if you weren't, you'd look exactly like that. And they immediately make your skin go white and your hair fall out, I imagine. Tremendous! Well, that was nice. <clears throat> Can't get any worse than that, can it? Oh wait, here's my 2012 fun party glasses. <sighs> Sorry, that was my uh, will to live escaping. Right, come on then. My goodness. Well, they've tied them down so they can't escape and you wear them by accident, so that's something. I imagine these would bite you and uh, end up embedded in your face. They have that kind of look to them. Oh dear. One's out. Let's do the other one now. Oh, I hate these twist ties. I don't know what the thing is about action figures these days, but if you buy them for a child you have to spend eight years on doing these damn things just so they can play with whatever overpriced character from a bad film. OK! 2012! The glasses! Here we are, you can celebrate everything that's happening this year, like the death of your relative that's going to happen in a bus crash. That'll make you feel a lot better. Come on then. Come on. You're wearing them whether you like it or not. Oh, look at that. Absolute class. The only pair of glasses in the world that even Elton John would not wear. Hmm. Well, I think I might pass up wearing those in the street, or in fact, not putting them in the bin immediately. But hey, they've almost got a flag in the middle or something. Well, the current flag until Scotland secedes. Oh, that was quite nice. Right. Now, we've put it off long enough. Let's have a look at the Union Jack inflatable hand. Let's party. Yeah, because it's not a party until you've got an inflatable hand. From Perfect Moments, a company called Perfect Moments. I mean, come on. What perfect moment involves a giant inflatable hat. Ooh, actually, I don't want to know. Well, here it is, anyway. <clears throat> oh, my God, it's the wrong side. Here we are. Look, it's all flag-related, and you can sort of ram your hand into it, although it's very tight. And basically, you've now got a giant, extremely unsafe oven glove. Something that immediately occurs to me is uh, whoever made this has never seen a fucking human hand in their life, have they? I mean, they've got a rough idea of where the fingers and thumbs go, but really haven't put it together too well. Also, it's corrugated. And what's this extra thing finger that's like been attached afterwards? It was made for aliens! Look, that was it. Made for aliens with a thumb and two fingers. They thought, ah, oh, we'll adapt it for the humans. So they stuck this extra one on the side and an extra one there. There we are, we've got to the bottom of it. And now I've got to try and get my hand out of it. <coughs> 
There we are. Absolutely lovely. I'm just going to move that head out of the way because it's freaking me out a bit. Oh well, at least there's no more inflatable crap. Except for this inflatable foil guitar. Pride. Passion. Party. Yeah, basically, we've slapped a Union Jack and a load of crap, give us your money, wasn't quite as good a slogan. More truthful that it is. Warning, choking hazard, 0-3, sad onions, blah blah blah, what does it look like? Well, it does what it says on the tin, it's an inflatable <laughs> foil guitar. Well, something roughly in the shape of a guitar. There is one use for this if you are cosplaying as Lord Raptor from Darkstalkers. If you're not, death to it. I wonder if I could burst it. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, strangle. Ah, that's made me feel slightly better. This is some of the most infuriating and empty tat ever. But don't worry, we'll end on a high note with that picture of the Queen again, because we haven't seen it quite enough. How would you like that picture of the Queen in a 10 by 8 photo? There she is, looking genuinely quite happy, which is probably why they've uh, chosen that photo. A little bit Emperor Palpatine, but, uh, you know, she's over 80 years old, so we'll let her off. Um, the Queen's Diamond Jubilee commemorative framed photo from Poundland. So that will give you some idea as to the quality we've got here. Um, if we can get it out, there we go. You know what to say about that. It says on the top to commemorate the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. It's in the most disgusting frame possibly imaginable. So you can't even put your own thing in it afterwards. It's got horrible moulding lines on it. There's actually a piece of glass in it. That is something. There's weird scratches up the side. I don't know if you can see that. And also it's on the her. Look! It's not even in the middle. Deary me. Well, what do you expect for a pound? Answer pretty much exactly this. Actually, I've got a theory about this. Stand that up there. Let's get a good train on it with the old camera. There we are, that'll do us. Now I'm going to turn the lights off. Ready? Okay, now I'm going to turn on the infrared. Aha! I knew it!